Hi Aries. <clears throat> Sorry. I'm <laughs> doing throat chakra work today. Welcome to my channel, you guys. Thank you guys for all your love and support. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome to the family. If you guys are returning, welcome back. Um, it's been a while since I've done your reading. I want to check in on your energy. You guys are showing up a lot in Aquarius reading. We've been going through some major energy shifts. Aries is retrograding your sign. And so we're all in your energy right now, right? Um, so be aware of um, your temper as well as... Um, Practice the light, right, versus the shadow of um, being in your heart chakra, knowing that only love is real here, and um, practice compassion, right, my loves? Um, all right, I wanted to um, see where your energy is at, see what messages spirit has for you guys. This is general, okay? Remember that energy is fluid and time is an illusion, so please take what resonates and leave the rest. Don't try to make it fit. If it's confusing for you, the message is for somebody else. Yeah, like I said, careful with your temper, <laughs> my loves. Um, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel, okay? If you like my energy and you enjoy my readings. Um, if I don't connect with your energy this time, check back with me next time. And also don't forget to check out your other placements. Cross watchers that could be in your energy and speaking directly to you. Okay, if you'd like to schedule a personal reading with me, I'll post information to that in the description box below. And don't forget to follow me on IG at infinite underscore love 1111. Thank you guys for your love and support and for donating to my channel. I appreciate you guys so much. All right, let's get started here, Aries. I'm going to call in my angels and spirit guides. You guys um, may be potentially um, in... In a, in a connection or getting ready to manifest a connection into your life but there's still um some hostilities going on maybe this is internal conflict okay let's see here the ego perhaps right pride and ego but you have someone in mind and you're exploring all the different possibilities here and how to manifest this love into your life yeah like i said pride and ego so solar plexus chakra is needing to um, be worked on. Archangel Chamuel is here. The color is yellow. It's right above the navel. All right. This is your uh, chakra of willpower, of confidence, self-esteem, purpose, passion, drive, determination, motivation, energy, vitality. Um, so when it is on overdrive, there can be a lot of ego involved, okay? So... Um, definitely a message for you guys about that which i felt already when i saw the hostilities card i see your community so connecting with your soul tribe your soul family again with the hostilities at the bottom of the deck so with mars being in retrograde this is huge energy okay be careful with this energy temper yourself okay and um practice compassion and understanding and forgiveness heart chakra healing as well all right spirit Aries spirit. Messages of guidance, clarity, understanding, healing, and insight of the best and highest good for the sign of Aries. Anxiety. Aries. So, um, yes, it, it's not easy right now for you guys while Mars is in retrograde. So, Definitely, you guys want to ground your energy, okay? When there's anxiety, we're thinking too much about the world we're thinking. We're thinking so much about the past, thinking too much about the future, and um, we need to bring ourselves back to the present moment. Okay, there are guided meditations that I normally post in the description box to my readings that can help you to come back to center, to align your energy back into the vibration and frequency of what you want to create and manifest for yourself. Spirit, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. There's a daughter romance and broken heart. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. There's an opportunity here, my loves. 
Yeah, you guys are um, heart chakra and third eye chakra is, is being activated here. You got blossoming abundance strategy. Okay, you got door to romance. Okay, so there's a door opening for you for love. This love is already manifested in spirit in the, in the fifth dimension. Okay, now you have an opportunity to walk through this door. Right, and accept this love that's being offered to you from God, source, the universe, right? Um, you've been triggered, is what, I, is what I'm hearing. Solar plexus has been triggered, heart chakra has been triggered, even third eye, right? Um, you have been triggered here. Um, we saw the hostilities card. There might have been a return from somebody from the past here. And um, it didn't go the way you expected, because we do have the broken heart. We have the broken heart. So um, you're being asked right now to heal, to, 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 like I said, to come back into alignment, right? So you can clearly see this door to drop the ego completely and um, call in Archangel Metatron. He can help you get organized and see your third eye chakra is being opened here. You're being asked to trust your intuition, right? We saw solar plexus, heart chakra, and third eye. They're connected. Okay, when it comes down to listening to God's voice, listening to your soul and following your soul's path and listening to your intuition. We have your heart chakra, Archangel Raphael. So heart chakra healing. It's time to heal, my loves. Heart chakra healing is needed. We have blossoming abundance, right? So abundance wants to come in, but we have a little blockage here in the heart area. When the heart is blocked or closed off or a blow to your heart, right, it tends to create a blockage for all of your abundance to come in. Okay, so um, you've been cracked open. Now it's not the time to put band-aids on, on your heart and, um, and avoid the healing, right? It's time to dive in to make your heart whole again, right? Heart chakra, guided meditation. Do you need a complete, from what I'm seeing here, right? Going through an awakening. You need a complete chakra reset, okay? So keep doing, I'm gonna, I posted this, the information to that in the description box below. Um, you're going through a, uh, an awakening right now, and that can feel um, difficult, right? Opportunities are opening up for you, for abundance, for romance, right? It's important that you strategize, that you strategize, right? That you um, think clearly and logically, and you really get clear with spirit, God, source, the universe, what you want to manifest and bring into your life. Spirit is listening. Spirit is listening. Spirit, this is a complete and total spiritual awakening, okay? So spirit is asking you to connect with spirit, right? Connect, call on spirit to help you here with, with, with your plans, right? Creating a practical plan here and what your next step is. Um, you're thinking very clear. You're in strategy mode right now, which is great because you are getting downloads and you are getting the messages here from spirit, right? With, with, through your heart, through your solar plexus, that's your gut. That's your gut feeling, okay? You're being cracked open all the way, right? You might have had a tower moment that um, triggered your triggered an awakening or an epiphany or an aha moment or um, somebody's ego here was, um, was uh, busted open. What? Uh, that's what I got from spirit. I don't know how that's going to play out. <laughs> um, was blown, right? Um, so... Um, now you're seeing things clearly, okay? So you're being asked to get organized here, to get clear with spirit. Connect with spirit here. Crown chakra, you lavender, right? You feel a lot of peace. This is about your, your, your limiting thoughts, right? This clear, when your crown chakra is cleared, you have direct communication to spirit, God, source, the universe. Also, um, you feel peace and free. And freedom right have real faith it's about your belief system okay so you're being asked to strongly connect right now you're seeing things clearly okay trust what you believe I'm, I'm sorry trust what you're seeing trust what you're feeling okay because that's your guidance right if you're being pulled to go in a, in a specific direction go in that direction okay my loves because um, whatever this is that took place right regarding maybe you did walk through a door to love and it didn't work out the way you expected right um but the door is still open for you guys it's here right it, it has something to do with your heart chakra love right opening yourself up to love getting out of your ego and stepping into love right um or this could be somebody vice versa okay i could be talking about the cross watcher somebody in your energy um that needs to do that so um 
very important chakra reset meditation is needed and um you're being asked to connect with the angels the angels is right here asking you to call on them to help you to process this right this was divine intervention okay if you had a tower moment this was divine intervention this was for you to wake up to your true authentic self for you to listen to your heart for you to follow your heart for you to open your heart up to love okay because love is the highest vibration of all when we're resistant to love right um, to opening up to love, we we block our flow of abundance, right? The only thing that's real is love. When we're resistant to love, that means we don't have self-love and we're not open to love and we're not aligned with the energy of love. Okay, so, wow. Chakras here. Chakras opening up. So abundance wants to come in for you. This is why this is happening, okay? This is why this is happening. I'm going to find out a little more about this here this is incredible you guys this is incredible you guys are going through a huge awakening and ascension here spirit what else can you tell me about aries what's going on with aries and having big dreams here what else can you tell me about aries spirit what's going on with aries sun moon rising and venus the answer is yes you just have to say yes to this door Okay, but you got to be ready, right, to say yes. Got to be in alignment. Come back to center, right? Get out of your head and get into your heart here, right? Make decisions from, the, from your heart and your soul, not from, from trauma, from woundings, from patterns, from subconscious programmings, from the ego and pride, right? You're being guided with the crown chakra and third eye chakra. You're definitely being guided from your heart and soul. Your intuition is strong right now. Yeah, you have a clear understanding. I did, we did see the, the thinking woman. Or this could be you are in, in connection with, 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 with a woman that is um, very logical and very intelligent and very intellectual and um, very strong in her convictions and what she wants, right? It be vice versa here, like I said. You're going through um, closure of major life karmic cycles. Surrender. Surrender is the best thing you can do. Aries, spirit. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus for Aries. Yeah. Uh, might be a, a timeline. Might be in the winter time where you're going to feel ready to for, for this romance, for this change. That the healing, you know, that you feel ready regarding your, your healing journey here. But also, this could be feeling left out in the cold, right? With this broken heart here. Um, there might be a situation that took place where um, somebody here is left out in the cold. Let's see. For Aries. Clarify Aries. Oh, not clarify Aries. Let me rephrase that spirit. I'm sorry. Show me Aries energy right now. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Aries. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Pause. There's a pause. Good. Yes, a little bit of nostalgia here, right? A little bit of nostalgia, thinking about the past, thinking about someone from the past, holding on really tight to it, though, holding on really tight to the, to, to, to the energy, holding on really tight to um, a memory, right? An energy. Um, basically, when, when I see nostalgia, I feel like that's spirit guiding you, you know? Spirit is guiding you, and... Um, and the ego can hold us back, right? But anyways, there's a pause. There's a pause for reflection. This is kind of hangman mode, right? Hangman mode of seeing things from a different perspective to reflect, to meditate, to heal, to think, to replenish, to, ref to refresh, right? To recharge. Good. Let's see here. What else, spirit? Oh, wow. Yes, you guys. Fear. Fear. Uh-huh. This is... this. This is the ego that I mentioned, the solar plexus, right? And root chakra, the anxiety, all of these illusions, all of these thoughts that are not real. Ground your energy, my loves. Um, um, this could also be somebody in your energy that um, is, is afraid, you know, afraid to open up to love, afraid. Um, fear, there's fear here. And that's what the angels are trying to help you with here with Archangel Metatron, Archangel Uriel for Crown Chakra, Archangel Metatron for Third Eye, and Archangel Raphael for Heart Chakra. 
something was um, um, revealed to you, and um, and now there's there's it, it causes you to feel to start to begin to feel insecure and afraid, and that is root chakra. Okay, um, root chakra. I'll call in Archangel Michael here. Root chakra is when we feel anxious, afraid, insecure, unstable, out of balance, right? Like our security has been rocked. Um, these thoughts aren't real, my love. So clear these chakras here so you can get the truth, right? What else for Aries? Victim. Definitely a lot of deep healing is needed here and separation separation yeah there was definitely there's definitely there's definitely something that went down here you guys um somebody is feeling with that victim mindset right um like like i'm hearing failure like i like you failed in something or someone failed regarding you right this is all a trigger a messenger spirit is asking you to call on the angels here, there's something deeper underlying, underneath. This is inner child healing, okay? Abandonment healing here. There's something, you guys probably came into union with somebody or is going to come into union with someone. And there's some fear here involved, right? Um, it's very important, you guys, that uh, you guys do inner child healing meditation here because it's your inner child that wants your attention and wants that needs to be healed here. All of this is from is 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 a programming, right? Clearing your subconscious mind here. All of this is a programming from childhood stuff, right? Um, fear of abandonment. The angels are with you, helping you. You're going through an awakening, probably the dark night of the soul, here, where the the there's an ego death, right? You're just watching and seeing how you're getting in your own way here, regarding attracting in healthy love regarding opening up to love there's things that's just being revealed to you here with third eye and crown chakra regarding how you're holding yourself back right from um calling in from actually walking through this door and receiving this love that god's sending you that god source the universe is sending you yes i got this new deck you guys yesterday and i love it spirit loves this deck <laughs> i use it one time on a client and I already cleaned it, connected with it. Let's see what messages Spirit wants to bring forth here for you guys. Okay, regarding this whole situation here. Spirit, please show me Aries. Um, yeah, so everything that happened here, you guys, that's happening, it's happening for you to heal, to break free, right? And to heal um, the code, the, not the codependency, I guess for some, right? But to heal any type of um, victim mentality, fear of love, for you to open up to love here. Love wants to be presented to you, right? But fear is what's getting in the way. The ego is what's getting in the way. So this happened to awaken you, to trigger you, so that you can heal this within you, right? These triggers are messengers and guides so that you can free, free yourself, right? And step into the energy of love, because the door is opening up for you. And there's when when we, you know, awaken to how we are getting in our own way here, right? It can feel, it, it can feel, it doesn't feel good, you know? It doesn't feel good. I, I went through it, so I get it. Um, you know, really facing yourself, doing the self-reflection here. It doesn't feel good when we um, awaken to, perhaps it's me, right? Perhaps I'm the one. That's getting in my own way. Perhaps I'm the one that's blocking love from coming in. Why is that, right? And then you start going deep, deep within and realize that um, how, much, how much healing that you need to do and how much self-forgiveness you need to give to yourself, right? You're not a victim, right? And the person you deal with isn't either. This is just a mindset, right? And this is the kind of things that comes up when we're doing the self-love and self-forgiveness work. Spirit, what else? Can you what can you tell me about daughter romance for Aries? This deck is still fresh, so it's very slippery. I waited to get this deck. I wanted this deck for a long time. This is the Light Sears deck. Um, that's the Energy Oracle, and this is the the Twin Flame um, Oracle by Mystic Moon. 
But I waited to get this deck, the Light Sears deck, for a long time. I waited for the wait time to go down, as well as the price. And it was worth the wait. You did, might be dealing with the um, Earth sign, or you may have that in your chart. King of Pentacles here, right? Trying to figure out um, what you want, if this is you. Trying to figure out what you want, right? Trying to balance under these changes that are occurring within you and in your external environment. Weighing out the pros and cons, right? Um, doing the dance of change here. Making, trying to make sure you make the right decision for yourself when it comes down to this door to romance. Door to romance. Yeah, you guys are dealing with a connection that's really deep, really strong. That's why, that's why this, all these lessons are coming up. That's why the trigger, that's why all the chakras are, are, you're probably going through a kundalini awakening. That's why all these chakras are busting wide open here. And spirit is strongly helping you. All you got to do is ask. If you don't ask, you don't get the help because of free will. This is a decision that needs to be made here regarding a spiritual connection. A deep, deep, deep soulmate connection that you guys feel really strongly about, right? There's a decision that needs to be made here. Wow. That's why this is all happening. You're being triggered, right? It's you're about. It's time to get out of separation here and come into union with someone. And and I have a feeling that this person, because we did see the thinking woman, this person is um, not accepting breadcrumbs, right? This person wants all or nothing, and and it's causing you to really think about what you want for the long haul here. What else, Spirit? Four. Yeah, four of wands. Twin flame energy. We had, we saw the lovers and now we're seeing the four of wands. This is about stability, long-term stability, right? Marriage, moving in together, higher level of commitment. Again with the two of pentacles, not sure. Going back and forth because of fear and a blockage in the heart. Spirit, door to romance for Aries, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Door to romance for Aries. What is this about? Door to romance, spirit. Door to romance for Aries. Door to romance. Door to romance. Yep, yeah, you're thinking a lot about this. Could be dealing with an Aquarius here with the King of Swords. I love this deck, you guys. It is so beautiful. The wheel. Mm -hmm. This is divine timing for this to happen right now, you guys. Look, there's an opportunity coming in here for you. That's going to make you feel very happy and very excited, right? A passion, a new beginning with somebody you care about that has been in the works and the making. The divine has been working on this for quite some time. This is change. The Wheel of Fortune is Jupiter, right? And Jupiter is direct right now. And the Wheel of Fortune represents good luck, good fortune, expansion, change, karma, right? Uh, on your side. Um, good luck and good fortune. This is um, divine timing is here right now. The door's opening up for you. It's important that you make the right decision here with the King of Swords, right? Um, this is also This energy can also be... Can be very egoic, very emotionally detached, right? Very logical, though, thinking very clearly here, getting clear with the universe of what you want, right? Facing yourself. See all the birds and the, animal, the spirit animals. See the owl there for wisdom, right? Having your crown and, crown and third eye chakra completely open here, seeing clearly. Um, and, and this is about making the right decision for yourself here. Okay, um, regarding this door, this door to romance, right? Like I said, you could also be dealing with an Aquarius. But um, I guess there's a pause here for reflection, right? For reflection regarding this door. Wow. Love it. What else, Spirit? For Aries regarding, what can you tell me about this King of Swords? Okay, so, ooh, the tower, like I said, and broken heart. Yeah, something happened. Something happened. There might have been somebody that moved fast towards you, or you moved fast towards somebody, right? Made took action here, and um, and it didn't go the way you planned, right? There was a tower moment here, and um, and uh, heart heart chakra has been activated, and now you're being asked. And now there's a there's a pause for reflection here. 
There's a pause, see the separation. We got here three energies here of the heart being split right open, right in the middle. Aries. Okay? So, um, you, like I said, you guys may have come into union with somebody here, and then boom, separation again because you weren't, you still weren't ready, right? There's still fear involved here. Um, please feel free to reverse the role. There was fear involved here, um, but temperance. This is reconciliation, but this is also you balancing out the yin and the yang, right? This is about the uh, finding peace, tranquility. The angels are helping you. Right? This is being patient and coming back to center, coming back into aligning and surrendering to healing and balance in your life. Okay? Um, like I said, this happened for you, not to you. This happened to awaken you, to, to get you to realize here um, <clears throat> why this happened, right? How am I getting in my own way? Why can't I walk through this, this beautiful door with, with this beautiful connection and allow it in, right? Why can't I come into union and stay in union, right? Um, yeah, temperance, balance. Like I said, the divine with the wheel of fortune, this the, the divine did this, divine intervention. This is divine intervention. Exactly what I said. When the tower comes in, that's because we were standing on a faulty foundation, right? Everything that we uh, identified ourselves by it was our identity structure, such as work or home and love life, right? Um, comes crumbling down and it shifts our belief system completely, right? Um, it shakes our foundation. So root chakra definitely needs help here. The, this is a this could be also an aha moment, a breakthrough, right? An awakening. See the butterflies? An aha moment, a breakthrough here, an epiphany. Um, this has definitely um, created a major change in you it, regarding having you really think about what you want for yourself, right? For your future, for your life here. Mm -hmm. Oops. Spirit, broken heart for Aries. Please, broken heart for Aries. But be careful. Like I said, you guys, it's the, it could be the ego, right? be the ego could be you um it could be somebody that you're dealing with that's in the limelight that's in the spotlight that that gets a lot of attention from people um but this is about you go just going for it you know being confident in your in your choices your decisions and your action here regarding this new beginning to take a leap of faith here right regarding this door that's opening up here for you and going for you will be very successful you will be a winner this is about success and victory but um this card also represents somebody that wants attention and ego right so with that and that has been the, a huge message here regarding walking in walking towards this door to romance right knowing that um if, if this is about love, which obviously it's looking like it is, right? Attention from others doesn't compare to the attention from this one person that is your um, soulmate, twin flame that we saw with the lover's card, right? Um, everything else is an illusion, right? Only love is real, like I said. So um, let me see why the six of wands is here. Six of wands for the broken heart. Six of wands. Why is the Six of Wands here for the broken heart? It could be that you want you want someone's attention, someone that you care about, right? And this person withdrew, held back here, and pulled their attention back. I got here the Knight of Wands I wanted to show. That's because this person doesn't want an in and out iffy connection. You know, they want commitment. They want the whole shebang. They want union. That's going to last, right? Six of Wands, Spirit. Yeah, exactly. Ten of Swords, look at that. This is the end of this very rough cycle, tough cycle, right? It's up to you. It's your choice. Are we going to close out this cycle of um, pain and suffering and loneliness and backstabbing and, you know, and face ourselves and face the truth here of what how we really feel and what we really want? 
This is sneaky stuff, right? Because somebody coming in and out of your life, um, this is deception, self-deception and deceiving others. When we deceive ourselves, we deceive others. When we don't trust ourselves, we can't trust others, right? When we don't recognize what we really want, how we really feel, we can't express that to others because we don't know, right? This is complete denial. This is denial. Denial of how of how, all your true feelings. Not showing how you really feel, right? Um, that's why the angels had to step in. The universe had to step in. Because somebody here, whether it's you or somebody you're dealing with, right? Is, is, isn't being honest with yourself and it, with themselves and with you here. Ego. It's exactly what I felt with the Six of Wands. The ego is what this person, either you or somebody else's ego, is what's been holding them back from their happiness here. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. And that's why there's separation. That's why whoever it is that, 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 that you came into union with um, said no thank you. Because this person can smell this. This person is very psychic, very intuitive, very powerful, whoever this is. That you're dealing with or vice versa and this person can smell this from a mile away and probably nipped it right in the bud here they won't allow themselves to be victimized absolutely not absolutely not and it's coming from a place of fear 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 of exposing themselves right fear of vulnerability fear of um Of opening up and allowing love in. Surrender fear and choose love is what I'm getting. Look at this. Otherwise, the cycle of, of pain is going to continue. We got here five of pentacles. Somebody left out in the cold. Abandoned here. This is a mindset. Abundance wounding, right? This is not in alignment with the energy of love and in the energy of abundance. So this is a subconscious programming. This is a 3D matrix template of poverty, lack, and um, conditional love mindset, right? That victim mentality that we talked about here, right? This is the end of the cycle here. It's up to you to rise up now, right? And choose love over fear. Spirit, what else for um, clarify heart chakra, Archangel Raphael? Abundance wants to come in if you allow it. Heart chakra for Archangel Raphael, spirit for Aries. We're all going through major changes right now, right? It's important for us to surrender to these changes. Go with the flow and allow. Listen to ourselves and trust ourselves better. Very strong messages you're getting and downloads from spirit. We just have to listen. Surrender to the healing. Yeah, surrender to the healing, my loves. Healing the heart chakra. Yeah, with Archangel Raphael. Resting, taking time. Take a pause. Take time away from everything and do the meditations, right? Rest. Really think about it. Really think about it. It's time to surrender to complete healing and close out this cycle here. This karmic cycle for good. It's over. No more Ten of Swords, right? Seven of Swords, victim mindset, lack mindset, abandonment, loneliness. It's time to close this out and choose self-love. Align with the energy of love. When you do that and you know your worth and you um, surrender to that, right, and open yourself up, abundance can come in. It's, a, it's the end of a major life cycle here. Uh-huh. Spirit. Yeah, we see here the Four of Cups. It's a lot of emotional unfulfillment. Spirit, Archangel Metatron for third eye chakra for Aries. What else can you tell us? Archangel Metatron for third eye. Allow this cycle to end, my loves. It could be also that you're heartbroken because something ended. A connection ended. A strong connection ended. And, and um, now it's time to heal, right? Archangel Metatron for third eye chakra here. Third eye chakra for Aries. Spirit, please. Anything? Third eye chakra for Aries. Third eye chakra for Aries. Nothing. Okay, spirit. What about crown chakra? This is clear and pretty strength. Yes. You guys are 
absolutely healing here. Going through having patience, taming the taming the, the inner beast here. The angels are helping you. The angels of strength. Nine of cups. So yeah, you're be absolutely being guided here to move towards somebody that you care about through your third eye and crown chakra. We got here strength, Leo energy. You are stronger than you think. This is about having the confidence, healing the heart chakra. Leo rules the heart, having the confidence and the courage to persevere and push through and go after what you want here. Right here's the Knight of Cups. Somebody that has a lot of emotions for you that wants to come in and court you, right? Or you want to go in and court somebody here. But it's requiring for you to drop the ego and the pride, Leo energy, to go after what, what your heart truly desires. But there's some healing that needs to take place first, some self-reflection. Yes, absolutely. Holding, not, and allowing, right? Not holding back so much, right? Letting go of control and resistance and allowing love in. Definitely, that's, that's the message here. That is the message. Spirit, what other messages do you have for Aries? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Messages for Aries. Lots of messages here about balance and healing, my loves. Surrendering. Guidance for Aries. What else do you have for Aries? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for Aries. Sun, Moon, Rising. Going through an awakening, and this takes time. So be patient with the process. Yep. New beginnings. Beautiful. New beginnings, yeah? When we surrender, we finally allow, right? We saw the Wheel of Fortune and the world. It's karma being cleared out here for you. When you allow the situation to unfold, major energy is about change and new beginnings here. Your new beginning can manifest, right? Blossoming abundance. Abundance can come in of everything, not just prosperity. Love too. There's an opportunity here for love. What else for Aries? And then we have patience at the bottom of the deck, by the way, which I said. Be patient with this process. Be gentle with yourself, right? Self-love. For Aries, what else for Aries? Release. It's time, my love. It's time, you guys. And practicing the law of attraction here. Um, using your mind wisely as the king of swords here. Release. Release and allow, okay? Free yourself here. Free yourself. Allow love in is what I'm getting. Huge message about that, right? You might need to release somebody from your past. Um, cut the cords, energetic cords of attachment here and go and start over. Start new, okay? Um, this, you know how this is playing out for you. There's something you're clinging on to that needs to be released. That's why a tower came in, okay? So um, the tower comes in as divine intervention to free you. So that all this abundance is you so that you can hop into your new beginning, okay? Whatever this was that had took place here is requiring for you to, to heal now with the four swords. To rest, to meditate, and to heal, right? And, and completely close out this karmic cycle of pain, of rejection, of loneliness, of suffering, of, of deception, right? With the seven of swords of pride and ego victim mentality of fear that's what we're releasing we're releasing fear we're releasing victim mindset we're releasing deception we're releasing you know all the the, the matrix all the 3d lack scarcity right abandonment issues we're healing we're going within here what does aries need to surrender spirit please you've been triggered for a reason like I said in the beginning of the reading, it's for you to go within and, and, and heal these chakras here. So to you can come so you can come into alignment, right, with abundance and love and what you're wanting to bring in. Healthy love, right? Your ego going through an ego death for a lot of you. What does Aries need to surrender, Spirit? What does Aries need to surrender? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What does Aries need to surrender? Ego, like I said, what does Aries need to surrender? Yep, 
You're going through some things, my loves, right now. But it's okay because it's all happening the way it's supposed to. All is well. Everything's in divine order. Everything is in divine timing here. Surrender stubbornness. All right. That's King of Swords energy. He can be very stubborn. Um, yeah. And it's a strength card. Leo card. Pride and ego here. Also four of pentacles, right? It's going to be very stubborn energy here, my loves. So we have here. So lots of energy is talking about that. And it's because of fear, perhaps, right? Um, if you're tensing up or taking a rigid stance about something, gently observe yourself and become more yielding. This will help you to communicate more lovingly with others and yourself. Mm -hmm. I speak my truth clearly with kindness and with love. Surrender your need to always be right. Give others the gift of letting them be right. Be yielding, not rigid. This will help to resolve conflicts and improve your relationships. Surrender to your intuition. Third eye, crown chakra, heart chakra, solar plexus. Huge message about that, right? Basically realizing that, that you may be the one getting in your own way here of this beautiful love that wants to manifest for you. Surrender to your intuition. Tune into your inner voice. Be aware of any gut feelings, aha, sorry, any gut feelings, flashes, knowings, or aha moments that come through to guide you. You're absolutely being guided with the um, third eye and crown chakra here. We saw solar plexus and heart chakra. It's all coming from there. It's not coming from your overthinking mind, okay? The thoughts would just come in and it's not going to be created by you they, from, from traumas, fears, woundings, and subconscious programming. You might want to do some research, um, read some articles and watch some YouTube videos on how to listen to your intuition and to know the difference between fear, trauma, woundings versus intuition. A lot of people don't know how to listen to their intuition, right? So they second guess themselves, especially if there's blockages, right? They second guess themselves, self-doubt. Surrender to your soul's path. Your life's journey has been perfectly designed for your soul's growth. And remember every lesson and every moment. You're on a path right now. Trust that. Trust this path, right? Your soul's path. You're being guided, my loves. Okay? Let's pull from the Romance Angels. Actually, I'm going to pull from the Monology deck first for you guys. And then the Romance Angels. Spirit. Guidance for Aries. Please, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Or, or any um, strong other placements that you deem fit for Aries. Strong, strong Aries placements. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. We're closing out karmic cycles here with the Justice card. Balancing of the scales. Aries, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Be very cautious, too, regarding... Um, there's some... I feel... What I feel like there's a lot... You're in a lot of protective energy here regarding love. Regarding opening up to love here very guarded is what i'm getting see there's somebody here that wants to come in but you're looking in another direction holding on to everything you find really valuable close to your chest blocking your heart chakra yeah very strong energy about surrendering f fear releasing fear and choosing love there's a new start coming there's a new start coming a new moon we are we just finished coming out of the new moon in Virgo actually. So absolutely, right? Work through your fears, the bottom of the deck. Again, same message. Yeah, new there's look at this. Beginning, beginnings and a new start. If you allow it, right? If you allow it, you have free will. You can take heed to these messages, or you can continue to choose, you know, fear, ego, and practice your free will. Right? It's up to you guys. 
what else there for Aries? What else? I think you're just very suspicious of, of this person here with the Seven of Swords, right? Because this person may have, um, it could, vice versa, this person may have been dishonest in the past, this strong connection person that you have here, right? May have um, presented a certain facade to you, but behind your back, they, were, they weren't honest. And it led to a lot of broken heart here, um, you know? may have victimized you in the past, right? Narcissistic energy. But um, again, that's probably why you're guarded. You don't, you're don't. you not sure if you can trust it. There's some fears here. So once you clear these chakras and you come into alignment, you'll know per your intuition by using strong discernment, king of swords, whether or not you can trust. You'll know who you can trust. You'll feel it. But that's why I said it's important that you guys look that up online. How to how to discern, how to use your discernment, how to trust your intuition, right? It's very hard to do when we had so much shit happen to us. We saw the Ten of Swords. It's hard to know who we can trust. But the most important thing the Spirit wants you to do is to trust yourself. Trust what you feel. If it doesn't feel good, it's not good. Spirit, for Aries. Sun, moon, rise, guidance for Aries. Anything else? Bring love. <laughs> Meditate and contemplate. Wow. Bring love. Let's that I said. Surrender your fears and, and release your fears and choose love. Bring love into this situation. You might be dealing with an Aquarius. I told you guys are showing up in the Aquarius readings. And then there's an Aquarius energy here too with the King of Swords. And you're being asked to step out of your comfort zone and let love in. You guys might need to do some healing work a little bit. Come into alignment, right? Clear these chakras. You know, then you'll know exactly what to do. You'll know how to listen to your intuition. Wow. Spirit just brought this home right now. You bring love. Surrender to the energy of love. Align with the energy of love. Be love. You can't bring love into anything until you are love, right? Until you open up to love. So um, very important here message regarding that. I knew it. That's what I felt from the beginning to the end. Same message. Release your fears. Spirit and the moon. No, I'm sorry. Not the moon. Knowledge. Romance angels. What, what guidance do you have for Aries regarding this very strong soulmate, deep soulmate connection? That this, this love that, they're, that they are feeling. There's a new start coming here regarding love, if you would allow it, right? Spirit, what message do you have for Aries here regarding love? Somebody is, is in the process of, re, of letting go and moving on. And it's really stressing somebody out here, right? Somebody that has been long in the making here with the Wheel of Fortune, right? Somebody that's been patiently, <laughs> patient with here, patient with, or vice versa. Guidance for, it is safe for you to love. It's so many fear regarding love. I get it, but that let that be that trigger for you, right? That there still might be some things that needs to be addressed and healed here, okay? Because if you don't feel safe, right, that's a message for you. That there's more work that needs to be done. So back into separation here for this work to be done. Okay, but work. Do the work, my loves. Do the work. Somebody is in their ego. Absolutely. Not listening to their intuition here. Spirit, please, for Aries. Guidance um, for Aries regarding this love. This person that they have in mind here. Guidance for Aries. Sun, moon. Oh my gosh, look what came out again. <laughs> surrender fear and choose love that's going to be the title this is the whole reading open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all it is safe for you to love it's safe for you to love don't clam up here this love the door's opening up the door's opening up oops with somebody that's very serious about you don't let the past hold you back spirit 
I know that it's easier said than done, right? The work needs to be done here to clear away these blockages. You're getting in your own way. Spirit. Guidance for Aries regarding. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Wow. Guidance. Oh my gosh. It is safe. What else for Aries? Wow, this, this, listen. This situation involves marriage. This could lead to, to that's probably why there's so much fear here. Because what I'm getting here is somebody is ready for it all. Right? Pay attention to the red flags, the signs of cautioning you. That's, when you listen to your intuition, you will receive the signs, any signs, any and every single signs. You'll be guided, right? You don't have to be in fear and, and block everything, right? Um, this, this, that's probably what this is about. Some, somebody here wants everything. Somebody here wants to move in together, to get married, to, to start a family, right? Um, or whatever, you know, take it how it fits to your situation. And now somebody doesn't want the in and out inconsistency. Somebody may have done the work here and healed and uh, a lot and, and is ready to close out the cycle, right? Ready to close out the cycle after a lot, after a pause, after a lot of work that was done here, right? Somebody wants it all. Wedding, the situation involves wedding. And now it's kind of like that all or nothing here, right? Um, it's all or nothing. That's what I'm getting. <laughs> Um, so it's putting it's it's putting this other person into um, in their head in their fears, look, doing self reflection, right, and and trying to figure out what they want. Do do I want to step through this door and 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 choose love here, or do I lose my soulmate, twin flame, this person that I have this strong connection with forever? Spirit is advising you to give your relationship a chance. If this is you, the one that's in fear, needing to make this decision. Wow. Spirit, what else? One last message for Aries. One last message for Aries. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. One last message for Aries here. This is a big message for you guys. One last message for Aries. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. One last message for Aries. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Anything else? Not the right time. But in the near future, like I said, someone isn't ready. Someone has more work to do in the near future. If you believe, right? What's under that? Within the next few months, improving health. Okay. Yeah, someone's improving health here. Improving health with the Four of Swords. Right? Somebody's going through an awakening. Whatever this love is, it triggered somebody's um, awakening here. And then we have listened to your intuition regarding romance. And say yes to love. Right? Be open and receptive. I love you guys. Good luck with this. Talk to your angels. Listen to your intuition and do the work, okay? Um... I will um, see you guys soon. Please reach out to me for personal reading. Thank you guys again for your love and support. I love you guys so much. God bless you. Take care. Namaste.